good afternoon welcome back to our youtube channel this is miss henderson so today we are doing a bls cpr course for the um home health day i am going to be demonstrating these steps to you um starting from the beginning of the course so the my demonstration reflects the um the american heart association modules so again, if you like these types of content and these types of educational material, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Please like and share this video and please give this video a thumbs up. So the first thing you want to do when you come on the scene is to check the patient. You want to check, you want to check the scene actually, I'm sorry. You want to check the scene, make sure the scene is safe. You're checking for any animals, you're checking for a pool of water, you're checking for anything that will endanger your safety. After you establish that the scene is safe, then you want to check responsiveness. Are you okay? Are you okay? He's not responding. He's not breathing. How do we determine that he's not breathing? Because you don't see rise and fall of the diaphragm that means he's not breathing so you shout for help if you are in a hospital setting or you're in a nursing home you shout for help 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 or if you're a home health aide and you work in a patient's home whereby you are there by yourself with the patient you're going to call 911 stay with the patient and perform CPR. So, you check responsiveness. Are you okay? No response, not breathing. Shout for help, 911, and grab an AED. The next thing, you want to locate the carotid pulse. So, you place two fingers here by the carotid artery, and you palpate it for 5 to 10 seconds. If there is no pulse, what do you do? You start chest compressions. So you kneel down, place one hand on the lower half of the chest bone, the other one on top, and you give how many compressions, guys? 30. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 compressions, how many breaths, guys? Two. Two. Okay. So the American Heart Association recommends that we use a barrier device. Back in the days, everybody was put in there mouth to mouth, and because of all the um, infectious diseases, people, the American Heart Association recommends that we use a barrier. This is called a packet mask. This is a one-way valve, so you attach this here, place it on the client, you create a C, you lift up his head, this is called the head tilt chin lift. If the patient do not have any cervical injuries, you can perform the head tilt chin lift technique. If the patient has cervical injury, this method is contraindicated. So you lift it up and you give two breaths. One, two, and you watch that the chest rises. I'm not gonna blow into this because I need a new one, but I don't have a new one right now, so I'm not gonna blow into this. You lift it up and you give two breaths. 30 compressions, two breaths, how many cycles? The full time. Five cycles. Okay. How many inches are you pushing down here, Shelly? Two inches. Two. two inches. Two to two and a half inches. So 30 compressions, pushing down two to two and a half inches, and giving two breaths. Mm -hmm. Five cycles. Now I would like to show you how to use an ambu bag. So this. An ambu bag is required for two rescuer CPR. So when there is a two rescuer, we do, we use the ambu bag. So Shelly, I'm gonna ask you to come here and give 30 compressions, and I'm gonna be here to give the breath. So come on there, Shelly. 
Kneel down, give your compressions. You want to start from the beginning, tapping for responsiveness and everything? Go ahead. Are you okay? No breathing? No breathing. Okay, shout for help. Help. Call 911 and grab an oh, AED. Call, call 911 and grab an AED. Check carotid pulse, 5 to 10 seconds. Start okay. compressions. Push hard, push fast. At a rate of 100 beats per minute. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So release your hand. I'm going to give two breaths. One, two. As you can see, when I'm giving the breath, one, it's, the chest is rising. Yeah. Two. Go ahead, Shelly. Give 30 compressions again. One, two, three, Push hard, push fast at a rate of 100 beats per minute. Lift it up, give one, two. All right, this is the third, 30. Guys, if the breaths are not going, you're going to have to reposition it and get a C. One, two. Okay, that's going to be the last 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, one, Ambu bag. The ambu bag is recommended for two rescue or CPR. One rescuer will be given 30 compressions. The second rescuer will be using the ambu bag. And this is called the um, EC clamp technique. EC clamp technique. One, two. So 30 compressions, two breaths, five cycle, and we're pushing down at two and a half inches. Let me let me just switch gear to the pediatric now. So we have a baby here. This is our baby. So a baby is anywhere from zero to one year of age. So with babies, it's a little bit different. So with adult, we check responsiveness here. With infants, we check under the feet. Baby, baby, are you okay? He's not responding, he's not breathing. Call 911 and grab an AED. Shout for help. With babies, you want to check for breathing. There is no breathing. You want to check the pulse. Where do you check the pulse for an infant? It's a perky under arm. You check under the, um, by the anti-cubital space, right by the brachial artery here. You check the pulse. There is no pulse. And you are one rescuer on the scene. You give how many compressions for the infant? Two fingers, one and a half inches. Mm -hmm. Adult is two, infant is one and a half because they required less pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now, if it's your baby, you know that your baby is clean. See, yeah. You can put, you can seal, you can put your mouth on your baby's mouth and you can give two breaths. If it's not your baby, the American Heart Association recommends you use a barrier device again, a pocket mask with a one weight Very ball tall. so you could put this here lift it up and give two breaths, two breaths. 30 compressions two breath five cycle now guess what if a second rescuer comes in 
the technique is different. We are going to be using the two thumb encircling technique. This technique, it's called two thumb encircling. And this is 15 compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, Shelly, would you mind come at the head of the infant and you're gonna be using the ample bag to lift it up and give two breaths, okay? So, don't block the infant's um, airway like that, okay? And create a seal like that, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Give you two breaths. Lift his airway up and give two breaths. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two breaths. Okay, so with this technique here, it's called the two thumb encircling techniques, and this is the ratio is fifteen to two. Fifteen and ten cycles. Ten cycles, not five. 10 because you're doing what? Only 15. 15. So this is the requires a two rescuer, two thumbs encircling techniques. Guys, I wanna show you if your infant is choking, what do you do? I'm gonna show you that right now. So, I'll show you what you do when your infant is choking. So you kneel down and you um, hold the infant and you give. You know, I'm feeling really good about the race this weekend. And let me just got um, time down and kind of slow yeah, this. It's supposed to be beautiful on Saturday and you've been running really well. Okay, let me just slow the video. Okay. So you kneel down, your baby's choking. You're afraid that your baby is going to aspirate. Kneel down, you hold your baby like this and you give five back slaps. One, two, three, four, five. Flip your baby over, hold and support his head, and give five thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you give five back slap and five thrusts for the infant when they're choking. With the adult, what do you do? The you do the Heineck maneuver. That's when you go behind the client and you place your thumb by the above the navel button and you put one hand on top and you give quick abdominal thrusts. One, two, two. until the object comes out. This is called the Heineck maneuver or the abdominal thrust, either one of those terminology is appropriate. So guys, this is it for this video. Um, again, if you like these types of content and these types of educational material, please consider subscribing to our channel. Please like and share, and please give this video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the other one. Bye for now.